On our hand this week, South opens one club and it goes pass, pass, and you also pass. You might have bid one no trump, 10 to 14, but you pass. Partner leads a heart and declare it wins the first trick. What do you know at the first trick? Well, you know partner's led an unbid suit, the two hearts looked like fourth highest, and you know that partner's got four, you had three, so declare as ace is a singleton ace. Declare a blaze the king of diamonds and you take the ace. Now, if you don't cash your tricks, declare will be able to rough a diamond, get to the table, play that king of hearts and throw something away. So you need to get your tricks going before declare has a chance to throw anything away on the hearts. What suit is the suit that's most likely to yield tricks for your side? Well, can't lead a diamond because Declare is going to win the trick with the Queen because he's just played the King. Can't play a heart. So all that le is left is to play a spade. Leading up to Dummy's weakness, you play the 10 and get a very nice surprise when the 10 wins the trick. So you now cash the King to make sure partner doesn't get anything wrong. And another spade. And you've managed to cash three spades in a row. And partner wisely switches to a club. You take your ace, Declara wins on the table, Declara still needs to dump a diamond or two and rough a diamond, so Declara plays a diamond, trumps a diamond, and manages to make eight tricks. But the fact that you switch to spades led up to weakness at trick three meant that you would hold the, the contract to eight tricks instead of letting Declara have an easy run and getting a diamond rough over trick and also a discard on the king of hearts. You've held him to eight tricks where he would have certainly made nine and he might have even made ten.